In this video, we will discuss Introduction to Atomic Theory. What is the smallest thing that you can think of? Bacteria, virus, DNA. The smallest thing that we can have is an atom. The atom is incredibly small, that its size is only a few angstroms. 10 billion angstroms can be fit only in one meter. Every matter in the universe is made up of different types of atoms. Iron is made up of ferrous, water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. The size of an atom is governed by the average location of its electrons. 99.9% .9 of the total size in an atom is empty. There is a lot of space between nucleus and electrons. If the nucleus were the size of a peanut, the atom would be about the size of a baseball stadium. If we remove all the empty space inside the atom, the entire human race would fit into the volume of a sugar cube. From our primary school, we all have heard this term, atom. But what exactly is an atom? Atoms are the building blocks of all the matter that exists. For example, if you consider a human body, it is made up of 37.2 trillion cells, the cells in turn, made up of molecules, and, the molecules in turn, made up of atoms. To all our surprise, Kanad Maharshi, an Indian sage was the first person, to contribute towards the concept of atom. Kanad mentioned, the smallest particle that is involved in chemical reaction is parmenu. An atom is composed of two regions, the nucleus, and, the outer region of the atom. The nucleus is in the center of the atom, and, contains two atomic particles called protons, and neutrons. They have approximately the same mass, which is defined as one atomic mass unit or one Dalton. The outer region of the atom, contains the atomic particles, called electrons which are revolving around the nucleus, in certain orbitals. The mass of an electron, is about, 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kilograms. Each electron has a negative charge, equal to the positive charge of a proton. Neutrons are uncharged particles, found within the nucleus. In general, an atom as a whole, is of no charge, that is neutral since it comprises equal number of protons, and, electrons. The number of protons, found in the nucleus of every atom, denotes the atomic number, Z. The atomic number helps to identify, any chemical element uniquely. In an uncharged atom, the atomic number is also equal to, the number of electrons. The sum of the atomic number, and, the number of neutrons, gives the mass number of an atom. If an atom has more electrons than its atomic number, then it becomes negatively charged. If an atom has fewer electrons than its atomic number, then it becomes positively charged. This charged atom is called an ion. The electrons, revolve around the nucleus, in certain orbits, called electron shells. These are also called energy levels. Since these shells are arranged around the nucleus, according to the energy, that an electron, in that shell is composed of. The shell that has the lowest energy, is nearest to the nucleus. The closest shell to the nucleus is called the, first shell, or, K shell, and the next shell is called the, second shell, or, L shell then the, third shell, or, M shell, and so on further and farther, from the nucleus. So, the names of shells are as follows. The general formula is that, the nth shell in principle, can hold up to two n-square electrons. According to this, the K shell can hold up to two electrons. The L shell can hold up to eight electrons. The M shell can hold up to 18 electrons, and, so on. The area in which an electron moves within a shell is called a subshell. There are four major types of subshells that can be found in a shell. The number of subshells present in a shell, is based on the shell number. They are named as S, P, D, F, based on the shape of the subshell. These subshells are also arranged according to the energy that they are composed of. At lower shells, 
the ascending order of the energy of subshells is as SPDF. But at higher shells, this order will be different. This order of the energy can be explained in detail, while discussing the atomic orbitals. Each subshell consists of one or more atomic orbitals, where exactly an electron is found. The subshells, S, P, D, F, comprises 1, 3, 5, 7 orbitals respectively. Orbital can contain a maximum of two electrons each. So, in a general picture of atom, we can see orbits or shells, K, L, M, in and so on, where each shell comprises suborbits or subshells, S, P, D, F, and so on, based on the shell number. These subshells further comprises orbitals, where exactly we can find electrons. We will discuss more clearly about atomic orbitals in next lectures. In this video, we have discussed introduction to atomic theory.